Let's imagine that I have a bitwise buffer, so a single byte for eight bits, where each of these question marks is some bit. So this byte, this is the most significant bit, and this is the least significant bit. And for our purposes, let's say that we want to be able to read this byte, so this bitwise buffer, from left to right. So I want this bit to be index 0, this one to be index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I want to read this bit first, then I want to read this bit, then I want to read this bit, so on and so forth. But what I can do is when my bitwise buffer is full, so when I first read a byte into my bitwise buffer, I can have some current index set to 0 initially. Then how do I extract the current bit? So when C is 0, I want to extract this bit specifically. And by extract, I want to somehow get either 0 as a value or 1 as a value. Well, remember, 0 or 1 are this number, right? Seven zeros with either a 0 or a 1. That would be 0 and 1, respectively. So what I want to do is shift this bit over to be in the rightmost slot. So what I would do is, so let's say that my buffer is called buff. I would do buff bit shifted to the right. Well, if C is 0, I want to shift it 7 over. If C was 1, I would want to shift it 6 over. It seems like I'd want to shift it over 7 minus C times. So when C is 0, I would shift it over 7. When C is 1, I would shift it over 6. When C is 2, I would shift it over 5, etc. So in this scenario, I would want to shift it over 7 minus C times. And then, uh, and then I could just return that value. Assuming this is a single byte, so in C++, that would be an unsigned char, if I shift this over seven spaces and return it, I'm guaranteed to get um, either a zero or a one because all the leftmost slots would get filled with zeros. So this would be how I would re uh, read in the current byte, uh, sorry, the current bit. And then I would have to increment my current to go to the next slot. Then I could read again and then increment. Read again and then increment. Read again and then increment all the way until I'm here. I read, so I would return this bit. So C is now seven. Seven minus seven is zero. I don't shift this at all. I return that value. I increment. Now C is at 8. Uh-oh, I'm out of bits to read. So what would I do? I would read the next byte into my buffer, and then I would reset cur to 0 and continue. 